In the world of professional football, there are few names as famous as Ken Stabler, a legend of the Oakland Raiders, also known as the Snake. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the life and career of this Raiders legend quarterback, Ken Stabler, with his dynamic playing style and remarkable ability to perform under pressure, etched his name in American football history as a Hall of Fame quarterback. He showcases improvisational skills and leadership on the field during the tenure with the Oakland Raiders from 1970 to 1979. His achievements include leading the team to two Super Bowl appearances, winning Super Bowl XI in 1977, and being crowned the NFL's most valuable player in 1974. Born on December 24, 1946 in Birmingham, Alabama, Ken Stabler exhibited his athletic ability from a very early age. He honed his skills at McCourty High School in Montgomery. Montgomery, Alabama, where he excelled in both football and baseball. His natural talent and determination caught the attention of the Atlanta Braves, who drafted him in the second round of the 1965 MLB draft. However, Stabler chose to pursue a college football career at the University of Alabama. His college football career at the University of Alabama spanned from 1965 to 1968 and left a lasting impact on the program. He played as a quarterback for the Crimson Tide and achieved remarkable remarkable success during his time there. He became a three-year starter for Alabama, showcasing his talent and leadership on the field. And in 1966, he played a pivotal role in leading the Crimson Tide to the SEC Championship. His contributions were instrumental in Alabama's success that year and they solidified his reputation as a promising young football player. However, it was in 1968 that was when Ken Stabler truly shined. His exceptional performances throughout the season earned him the most prestigious SEC Player of the Year award. This accolade recognized his outstanding skills, football IQ, and overall impact on the game. His abilities as a quarterback were evident and he became widely regarded as a rising star in college football. And immediately after college football, Ken Stabler started his professional football career. But before we look back into this legendary career with the Oakland Raiders, let me remind you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more of our exciting videos just like this one. The Oakland Raiders recognized Ken Stabler's talent and drafted him in the second round of the 1968 NFL Draft. Despite being the fifth quarterback chosen, he quickly proved himself as a talented player. Prior to his NFL career, he was even drafted by multiple baseball teams, including the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. After signing with the Oakland Raiders, Ken Stabler spent some time playing for the Spokane Shockers in the Continental Football League. However, his talent demanded his return to the Raiders, where he made his regular season debut in 1970. His first notable NFL performance came in a playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1972, where he scored a crucial go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter. And although the Steelers ultimately won the game, his impact was undeniable on that field. As Ken Stabler faced severe knee injuries, his playing style underwent a significant transformation. He shifted away from being a scrambling quarterback and transitioned into a more classic drop back style passer. He became known for his accuracy and his ability to lead late game comebacks. NFL legend and former Raiders head coach John Madden summed up Ken Stabler's remarkable ability to thrive under pressure with this memorable quote. The hotter the game got, the cooler he became. John Madden recognized Stabler's unique talent for remaining calm and composed in an intense situation. When the stakes were highest, Ken Stabler seemed to excel, displaying a level of poise and confidence that set him apart. John Madden also stated, to this day, if I had one drive to win a game, I'd want Ken Stabler as my quarterback, and that is a very bold statement. Ken Stabler was also blessed with an exceptional receiving core, which included the likes of Cliff Branch, Fred Belenikov, and Dave Casper, all of whom would eventually be inducted into the Hall of Fame. The Raiders' offensive strategy involved a strong running game complemented by Stabler's long passes and precision on intermediate routes. Ken Stabler's legacy includes unforgettable moments such as the ghost to the post play in the 1977 AFC playoffs where he connected with Casper to 
forced overtime. He was also involved in the infamous Holy Roller game in 1978, where a forward fumble resulted in a touchdown and a Raiders victory. His impact on the game led to the implementation of the Ken Sabler rule in 1979, restricting recoveries on fourth down plays. After a couple of subpar seasons and significant changes with the Raiders organization, Ken Sabler was traded to the Houston Oilers in 1980. However, the move did not result in the success both parties hoped for, and Stabler's retirement was announced in 1981. He briefly returned to the Oilers but had a mediocre season before being released. He then joined the New Orleans Saints in 1982 where he finished his playing career in 1984. Ken Stabler's incredible talent and achievements in the NFL were duly recognized with several notable accolades and individual honors. A tremendous amount of success with the Oakland Raiders and left a lasting impact on the game of football. At the time, he was the fastest quarterback to win 100 games as a starter, doing so in 150 games, breaking Johnny Unitas' previous record of 153 games. Only Terry Bradshaw at 147, Joe Montana at 139, Tom Brady at 131 games games have reached 100 wins faster since then. In 1974 and 1976, Stabler was named the AFC Player of the Year, a testament to his exceptional performances and leadership on the field. These awards underscored his ability to consistently excel in a highly competitive conference. Stabler's prowess as a passer earned him the NFL's passing championship in 1976, further solidifying his status as one of the premier quarterbacks of his time. His accurate throws and ability to dissect opposing defenses made him a formidable force in the league. The pinnacle of Ken Stabler's individual achievements came in 1977 when he was bestowed with the most prestigious honor in football, the NFL Most Valuable Player Award. This recognition affirmed his impact on the game, highlighting his exceptional skills and contributions to his team's success. In addition to his individual honors, Stabler's legacy is further exemplified by his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2016. This ultimate recognition underscored his lasting impact on the sport and his enduring status as one of the greatest quarterbacks to have graced the field. After retiring from professional football, Ken Saber embarked on a successful career in broadcasting. He leveraged his extensive knowledge and experience in the game to provide color commentary for NFL games. His engaging personality combined with his deep understanding of the sport made him a valuable addition to the broadcast booth. He worked as a color commentator for both CBS and ABC bringing his unique perspective and analysis to football fans across the country. His ability to break down plays, offer strategic insights, and provide entertaining commentary made him a beloved figure among viewers. In addition to his broadcasting career, he also ventured in coaching. In 1984, he took on the role of head coach for the Birmingham Fire in the World League of American Football, later renamed NFL Europe. Stabler's coaching responsibilities allowed him to share his knowledge and mentor players contributing to the development of the sport at the professional level. Ken Stabler's life was cut short by colon cancer. He was diagnosed with a disease in February of 2015 and despite battling it with strength and resilience, he eventually ended up passing away from the illness on July 8th. 2015 at the age of 69. The loss of Ken Stabler was deeply felt by the football community and fans around the world as they mourned the passing of a legendary player and admired the spirit he displayed both on and off the football field. But Raider Nation, there you have it, the life of one of the most remembered American football players and a legend to the Raiders organization. Just from his playing style, clutch performances, and ability to lead his teams to victory cemented his place among the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Ken Stabler will forever be remembered as a legend for the Oakland Raiders and personally he is my favorite Raiders quarterback of all time even though I never had the chance to see him play. But which Raiders legend career do you guys want to know about next? Let us know in the comment section down below but that being said that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel that being said I'll see you guys in the next one.